when viruses replicate and make copies of their genetic material, now they have to split. Uh, there can be errors in the way that they copy no, and make copies of their uh, genetic material. And those are called mutations. No? And when you develop some mutations in specific areas of the, of the virus's gene, for example, it affects the way that they can survive or the way that they bind to the receptors no? or dun sa, dun sa molecules in, the, in, the, in our lung cells, for example, for COVID, uh, and it makes them more tightly bound, then that can become, those viruses can become variants. Now, there are different ways or two ways to classify it, at least according to uh, this pandemic, uh, my variants of interest, my variants of concern. The variants of concern, these are the virus variants that have been shown to either have higher transmissibility, mas nakakahawa, or uh, it can cause higher severity of illness, no? um, or it can uh, the vaccines are less effective against them. No? So these are called variants of concern. The Delta variant is one of these variants of concerns. No? Um, there are four at this time that are variants of concern. We have Alpha, Beta, Gamma, and Delta. And the Delta variant is the one that uh, was first identified in India. No? Yung dating alam natin na Indian variant. Uh, so that's the Delta variant. It can cause that this virus is more highly transmissible and if you get sick from it and you have not been vaccinated, you can get uh, more severe symptoms. No? Um, so it is, it is truly a variant of concern. The variants of concern cause almost the same symptoms as the original virus. When we say original virus, that's called the wild type virus. And um, COVID still presents the same way when caused by these variants of concern, like the Delta variant. No? So it's still fever, cough, shortness of breath. No? Um, there are some reports na sabe there are more headaches, less cough, um, not a lot of uh, loss of uh, smell or taste, no. Pero in general, they will uh, present the same way. Um, siguro may mi minor variations lang. From data that that's coming out of the United Kingdom, it seems to show that if you are fully vaccinated, meaning two doses. Um, then you are more likely to get a mild infection and you are less likely to die from uh, an infection with COVID-19. But if you haven't been vaccinated, you are much more likely to catch it no? because it is more transmissible, 60% more transmissible than the alpha variant no? and definitely more transmissible than the wild type. Um, and if you do get sick from it, it can cause uh, severe disease as well. So, um, in that way, it is more serious and it is more concerning. The Delta variant can infect uh, those, even those who are fully vaccinated. Even from the beginning of the vaccination drive, we didn't really, you know, everyone was saying uh, none of the vaccines are 100% effective. Now, wala na, walang vaccine sa buong mundo uh, that's 100% going to protect you, you know, from the disease, whether it's COVID or chickenpox or MMR. Um, so if you if you have been vaccinated, you drastically decrease your chances of getting infected, but it is not zero. However, if you have been vaccinated and you do get the infection, um, a lot of uh, data coming out from many countries are saying that you're less likely to get hospitalized and you're much, much less likely to die from COVID-19. If you do get sick from COVID and you have been fully vaccinated, um, the, the, the number of viruses in your system 
seems to be lower. So you can get milder symptoms. No? That's both good and bad. Um, good in the sense that you're not going to be very symptomatic. You're probably not going to be hospitalized. It's bad because you will tend to ignore the symptoms if they're very mild. No? So you might not uh, go see your doctor or you might not get tested. No? So um, we do need to make sure that if we present with some respiratory tract symptoms, uh, we still uh, either do teleconsultation or see our doctor or proceed to the nearest emergency room if your symptoms are severe enough. Um, para we can we can test you for COVID-19 so that we can we can uh, catch as much of the disease as possible and control uh, control the the outbreak immediately. Similar to the wild type COVID, you know, um, there are actually some groups that are more prone to get uh, the Delta variant. Uh, and especially if you have been vaccinated, uh, these groups are also more likely to develop uh, or get infected with COVID. So the elderly, um, those who have compromised immune systems, you know, they are more likely to get the COVID variant. Are the, the Delta variant mainly because uh, their immune system might not have developed as much protection as expected. Uh, so it's important for these uh, high-risk groups to be very vigilant, no, and and still and still practice the minimum public health standards, stay away from crowds, etc. Um, they are also much more likely to develop severe COVID if they do get infected, either with the wild type or with the Delta variant. Uh, so w while there is an effort to open up the economy you know, and get things back to normal, I think that we should uh, also make sure that we participate in this economic activity, but then also be mindful of protecting ourselves at all times. All right, so the way to protect yourself from COVID-19, whether it's the wild type or the original virus or the alpha variant or the delta variant, is the same. Um, we need to observe the minimum public health standards. That's mask wearing, hand hygiene, physical distancing, doing things more outdoors than indoors, avoiding crowds, etc. By now, uh, we have memorized uh, these public health interventions. No? And if you are symptomatic, um, it's best that you go see your doctor. Um, there are many portals now to see the doctors. It doesn't have to be face-to-face. -face. You can do teleconsultation. Um, but it's important that if you have symptoms, um, you see a doctor so that uh, we can determine if you need to get tested, even if you have been vaccinated. 